or what's up guys uh, this is play here and today we're going to be talking about uh try and what is needed in this game to make it a lot better um the game is already good the way it is as you guys can see there are a lot of people online right now if you go to steam chart there is like an average of 1000 players um throughout like from the morning to like uh five o'clock uh, 5 a.m. like in the night or, or the next morning or whatever you might uh, refer to as ads um, So this game is is up and it's, it's running like a lot of people love this game. I included and We play this game. We love it and we want to see it improve. So the reason why I'm, I'm making this video is so that the developers can implement these changes that really needs to be done so that the game can attract even more players and help the players who are already here uh, help them to get attached to the system and uh, bring more meaning to the fights and uh, the interaction that we are having in PvP and in the game in general so I'm going to uh, lower the volume here of this sound effects and stuff and I'm gonna turn off my uh, voiceover stuff anyways I'm here helping my allies we are in the uh, Vulcan fashion and uh, this is conquest for those who don't know what's going on here you just see a bunch of guys just running around murdering each other this is conquest uh, the overall objective here is to dominate the position where the uh, boss like there is going to be a boss that will spawn eventually over here somewhere around here and the overall goal is to um, is to dominate this space and create enough space for everybody to uh, to be able to um, to damage the boss and the person who does the most damage to the boss um, when it dies it releases uh, a reward and I think you get like bonus XP and, and, and other other stuff like that and these are all like concepts like that are really really good that keep bringing these guys back here um, all, all these everybody can participate this is a uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is scaled like this here is a little bit scaled um, I won't say it is completely scaled because I've uh, seen the auto, the auto conquest region, which is completely scaled. Um, it actually reduced your CP to like uh, 50k, I think. And anyways, as you guys can see, a lot of people love this. And as like there are a lot of people here. Um, I'm running this and there's supposed to be lag, but I don't see lag. There's There was a little bit of a pause there earlier. Um, that's because... I'm recording and, and all that stuff, but I don't I don't normally uh, experience these pauses. Um, anyways, the reason why I'm making this video is to uh, point out a couple of features that could be put in a, in a game that could really uh, uh, improve the game, right? So we have uh, dungeons and dungeons have currencies and stuff that we can use uh, to unlock legendary gears. That's that's awesome, right? Uh, what we need now because this is a PvP game we need ways to test DPS and ways to like uh, To to figure out what we want to build towards and I made a review on the on steam and in my steam review I, I, I Requested I edited my steam review and I requested uh, that our test dummy be placed in one of like uh, in one of the zones and I pointed out like the beginner zone I, I, I don't think I pointed out the beginner zone but I did point out that that had to be a, a, a test area uh, where you can test your DPS and that way players would not like mindlessly uh, grind for stats that aren't important to them right and that will like help people reduce their frustration and uh, pretty much it will it will uh, allow more people to release built videos and god videos and stuff like that for um, the game so that's something that has to be put into the game um, it, it really does like they really they really have to put that into the game to um to make it good 
And next thing is uh, Gale versus Gale PvP. We need a Gale versus Gale PvP content, and like I like the developers don't have to put a brand new content into the game. Um, this the battleground uh, map can can actually be used for Gale versus Gale content, and uh, how it gonna work out is like captains, um, the guild masters or whatever, um, can message each other, right? You can have like a list of all the guild master, all the guilds and their masters, um, like all the guild masters, pretty much. And you can you can have a list of them on like a little board or whatever, and allow players to message each other and set up a uh, guild versus guild events. Right, that would be so amazing for players, right? Um, like that will allow more people to release videos for PvP, and BG will actually have meaning to it. Uh, because uh, not nowadays, like uh, actually not nowadays, like consistently, like throughout, uh, once like BG was added to the game, uh, once the game came out, pretty much, uh, players started queuing up for BG, not knowing like what to do not knowing uh, how PvP works in a sense. And once you put that that pressure, that stress like um, of teaching players, once you give that uh, that responsibility to the uh, to the guild, the guild itself is gonna handle money um, handle like teaching players how to PvP. Um, they're gonna come up with their own strategies and stuff, how to win their own matches and stuff. And that will make uh, BGs a lot more organized than it is. And that will bring a lot more uh, entertainment in, in BGs, pretty much. It's going to be a lot more fun, right? Uh, because it's going to be an organized experience. And players would not be getting frustrated because they have a bunch of beginner guilds players that don't have uh, any good enough gear. And they just queue up because they need uh, the rewards and stuff. And players are gonna there's there's gonna be less of that uh, of that type of frustration, and more and BG is gonna be more of a challenge, right? And players are gonna be working together to make sure that a guild can uh, rank higher, like on a guild leaderboard for PvP. That will be as extremely good, and it's gonna be extremely attractive to a lot of PvP uh, MMO PvPers because. Um, Zergin like this, right? This type of PvP is fun, right? But once you add stuff like leaderboards, when you add stuff like strategy into the into the mix, uh, instead of players just running around like this, throwing out uh, CC and throwing out AOEs, right? Once you add some strategy to it, it's gonna be a lot more uh, interesting. It's gonna become a lot more popular um, among players because we're gonna. It's gonna like influence uh more conflict in a sense like more uh uh like it's gonna make players a lot more interested in bgs than just queuing up because they want to queue up uh for that fashion right so that's something that has to be put into the game um next up is uh uh market right um so market we need a we need a system where uh players can easily find gears to purchase uh instead of depending on the crafting system i i know like there's the crafting this is the crafting system is there to give the developer more time for them to make more items or something um uh, that's what i think because Otherwise, like, I don't really think the crafting system should be, like, the only means for you to get gear. Um, the crafting and the uh, the, the uh, legendary dungeon, I don't think those two are supposed to be, like, the only means uh, for you to get gears, right? Um, there needs to be, like, a trading system where players can grab the items and put them on, like, an auction house uh, so other players can uh, bait on them or other players can buy them immediately. Uh, with one click purchase and stuff we need something like that into the game um, with that I think the game is gonna be a lot more uh, player driven um, because player will be able to players will be searching will be interested in searching uh, for better gears that it can put on the auction house they can sell to 
uh, to other players and it's gonna be a lot more fun and because because players um, I think players are gonna be gonna feel a lot more uh, empowered by this system right instead of uh, having to do uh, pretty much like a troll um, that's how I feel like the uh, crafting system is especially for casual players once they see the crafting system and how long it's gonna take for them to get there right it kind of deters them and makes them feel like uh, they are way too behind and they, they won't be able to catch up um, casual players are interested in in easy stuff and you need a lot of casual players to keep the game uh, populated um, and to keep the game a lot more uh, so sociable right because casual players are a lot more sociable um, than hardcore player hardcore players are focused on like winning stuff and and things like that right so <coughs> Um, as you guys could have seen in my earlier video, I had like stuff stuff in my nose because I'm not feeling well. Um, my nose been running like crazy. Uh, anyways, back to the uh, topic that we were talking about. Um, so once you guys add the uh, trading system, uh, not like trading, like I don't know, like I think I feel like trading will allow players to boost each other a lot and i don't know like i think guilds will become a lot more powerful when you add trading into the mix and player some players will not even try because they know that like that guild will just give them free stuff so i don't think trading should be in a game yet but what i think should be in a game is a it's a it's an in-game store for for gear right um an auction house that's what gotta be in the game um next is uh like the result of ha of adding like an auction house into the game it's gonna be uh <coughs> oh that's a big pool Uh, anyways, uh, adding the auction house is going to now encourage players to start looking for more resources that they can sell, uh, which is going to keep the game alive. And you're going to see a lot of players moving around the map um, because the current state of the, with the current state of the game, like you just all you're going to see right now is like players standing still, uh, only auto moving to, to locations where they want to complete like their dailies and stuff and that's like the only time that players move and they usually just teleport to whatever uh mob they want to kill or whatever and that's like the only time these players move right but if you if you add a if you add gear system and add a a way for players to personally manage uh the economy in a sense um again Adding like a market might seem like a daunting tax or like a challenging tax for the developers for you guys. Um, but if you guys really want to manage it, like you can actually set your own price that when the player is putting an item on the auction house, that the players cannot like cannot go above that um, above that threshold, right? So you set a, a price, the minimum price that the players can have. And then you set a maximum uh, price that the players can can set as well, and you let the player set their own price within that range, right? That way, you know, um, I don't think like the adding the auction how would, would like break anything, right? So, um, so that's that, and I'm running low on mana here, so I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do. Uh, anyways. My mouse is also missing. I gotta heal these guys. They are not in a party, so I gotta like click on them and stuff. And it's a lot challenging. Um, so yeah, so once you guys add that, um, we now need a lot more, uh, a lot more mobs. Where like when you kill the mob, instead of actually looking for resources, you can actually get gears and stuff from the mob, right? Um. I don't know if that's the case right now. I don't even know how like the uh, the the uh, the codex system. I don't know if that's what 
it is but there's a there's the code that system where you turn in gear and stuff and on the maps also there are like mobs and stuff that you can kill and stuff and I have no idea how that actually works so there probably needs to be like a tool tip about that and let me open this real quick and explain this to you guys so I have looked at this and I noticed it but I have no idea like maybe like you just go to this guy and you kill him and you get a loot or something I've been promoted to Centurion 2 like like two times now that's pretty good uh all bug it or it is a bug that's gotta get fixed or something but it really doesn't matter to me honestly i only come here because i like healing and i like the big fights and stuff mainly because i like healing uh whoa whoa uh so yeah, so I think that's that's part of what I wanted to say. Um, I'm sure there are more stuff, um, and, and you guys can actually uh, make some comments on the, what you want to see in the game. Uh, but as for now, I feel like those are the main things that would like make more players uh, become active, and it will make life easier for casual players as well. And what I wanted to say here is uh, there needs to be like a two tip um, or there needs to be like an encouragement, an incentive for players to come into this session of the menu. Um, I feel like it's only like end game player, like hardcore uh, end game players that are coming here doing this. I don't even know how that uh, system works. Oh, I am so dead. Jesus. I got saved from like zero hit point. Um, I don't even know how I live there. <coughs> yeah, so once you add gears on those mobs, I feel like a lot more people will be going out to search for them. And that will also uh, maybe bring like a PK. It will probably like increase uh, more interaction between the factions where you have players like uh coming across each other as they try to find these bosses with the gears and stuff and you'll see a lot more pks a lot of more interactions and uh maybe guilds will start grouping up to search for these gears and stuff i don't even know but it would just it would just make the game a lot more fun and again like there the, the entire system right now is is pretty fine um these are just su suggestions Right, I'm not suggesting these things because I think the game is bad. The game is, is doing great. Right. Um there are a lot of people playing, a lot of people enjoying as you guys can see all these emotes, people are having fun. And the only thing that I want in, in the game now is like uh some little little changes content um that will actually make solidify the game and make it a lot more uh a lot more fun as well, right? So um so yeah that's that uh i'm gonna end the video here before i just uh lingering or whatever if you guys want to watch this this boss fight um it looks like we are actually winning this uh because yesterday i mean day before yesterday i actually explained a uh, couple of stuff on how uh we should be positioning ourselves for these fights and our fashion like sometimes we have like a little bit of a trouble uh, with player like getting frustrated because other people don't know how to pvp and stuff um and they be calling each other noobs and stuff so we do have those moments but for the most part our fashion will really do work together and uh the evoking fashion is is just a powerful fashion and uh yeah anyways <laughs> that's all i want to say guys um <laughs> I'm not sure what else could be added to this game, but as for now, it's 6 plus 9 signing out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.